Hi, welcome to the AMC News Dispatch. I'm Melissa Bowen of the Public and Congressional Affairs Office. The Army Materiel Command is always finding new ways to protect our soldiers, whether that is with advanced weapon systems, state-of-the-art communications, or technologies that keep our soldiers out of harm's way. AMC's Edgewood Chemical Biological Center is now working on an advanced concept technology demonstration to test the Cug V, a small unmanned ground vehicle which uses a commercially available robot and advanced detection systems to find chemical and radiological materials. The system will allow soldiers to investigate environments where large reconnaissance vehicles cannot have access to, or in areas where sending in a soldier could be dangerous because of hazardous materials. This is a 2005 advanced concept technology demonstration called the Cougar ACTD. Cougar stands for CBRN, Unmanned Ground Reconnaissance. Within the Cougar ACTD, there are two thrust areas. One was focused on a, a manned recon vehicle, and the other was focused on an unmanned recon system, which would be the Cug-V. Uh, the Cug-V was designed as a test platform so that the Army could evaluate whether or not it makes sense to put detectors on a robot and use it to conduct reconnaissance in search of chemical or radiological materials. The detectors on board are primarily point detectors. So this system is designed for use in confined spaces, interior spaces, that would be caves, tunnels, bunkers, even warehouses. Any, any place where you would have a confined enough space that if there's a hazardous material, it could build up to a concentration that would be detectable. Well basically gamma radiation, first with the, uh, the UDR-14, and then on the chemical side, with the multi-ray plus, we're focused primarily towards industrial chemicals. Uh, that would include oxygen, believe it or not, because oxygen is very important to the warfighter. That tells them whether or not they can wear mop gear or they have to have self-contained breathing. In addition to oxygen, the multi-ray also will give chlorine, ammonia, oxygen. There's a variety of sensors that can be selected. Any two from that category can also be installed in a multi-ray. And then on the other side of the multi-ray, we have a wide spectrum detection for volt organic compounds and uh, they call it lower explosive limits or explosive vapors. By leveraging the latest technologies to detect chemical and radiological materials, AMC is helping ensure our soldiers can safely conduct their missions in whatever environments they find themselves in. Well, that about does it for this week's edition of the AMC News Dispatch. And don't forget to visit the AMC website and click on the news and information link on the left-hand side for the latest items of interest about the command. Thanks so much for watching. We hope to see you next time. <music>